Hi everybody, this is take three of me recording this video. You would think that it would be easy, but it's not. Anyways, so I'm recording this on a Wednesday, so if you're watching this on the weekend, hope you're having a great weekend. If you're watching it on a weekday, I hope you're having a great week. Um, it is halfway through the week for me, so I'm pumped. But um, anyways, besides that, I just hope that you guys are doing super, super well. And today I'm here to present to you my aphasia kit. Um, it's all in this cute little box that I used last semester for one of my other therapy kits. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys my communication boards as well. Um, I know that that's not part of it, but I just wanted to show you guys anyway because I think that they're super, super cool. And I love the ones that I found. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys those as well. So I am going to go ahead and get started. So here is, again, my kit. Cute little box. Um, you can kind of see the stuff poking out from it. I can't, like, fit the lid on it, but I figured I didn't really need to to show you guys. So. Anyways, I'll go ahead and get started with what items I put in my kit. So, I have a hairbrush um, because both men and women use hairbrushes. So, I just figured good thing to add. Some Kleenex, especially with the flu season, COVID season, cold season, everything season. Tissues are so, so good. I have glasses. I know that not everybody wears glasses, but 90% of people who have aphasia are older and then 90% of people who are older wear glasses. So I figured that this would be a good thing to add in there as well. I have this cute little notebook or journal or whatever you want to call it. And this is, guys, this is so off topic, but this is so cute. Is it not? Look at the cute little flowers. I love it. So anyways, I found it and I wanted to add it really bad. So I got it. Um, I got it at Dollar Tree, by the way, if you guys want to know. Um, let's see. I have some hand sanitizer. Again, with cold flu season, corona season, super good to have. And the same thing with soap as well. Couldn't find a smaller bottle of soap than this. And I was kind of not happy about it because I was like, come on, you guys have to sell a smaller bottle of soap than this. But I couldn't find one. So I just went along with it. Um, I have a cup course everybody drinks out of cups and then I also have um, a fork and a spoon look at this cute little set again a dollar at Dollar Tree so um, I thought that those were cute and I have a toothbrush as well and I have toothpaste and I also have gum so here is the whole minty minty breath theme right here um, these three things. Um, let's see. I have tape. I have a pencil, a pen, and an eraser as well. So here's the office supplies theme right here. And then I have some chapstick as well. Just some Vaseline chapstick. And I have some nail clippers that I added in there. Um, I don't even think about how often I use nail clippers, but we use them like all the time. At least I do because I hate my nails being long and I never even thought of it until I looked and I was like, I, I do use you every, pretty much every single day. Not every single day, but a lot. It's a very common item that I, you don't even think of these things until you're like assigned a project or something. And you're like, wow, that is an everyday item. Like you don't even think of using these things. You just use them. Anyways, I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm really nervous in front of even a camera, so just ignore everything that I'm saying. Um, I have a Q-tip, so that's always good. And then I have a sock. I could have added both socks, but I figured that they would have gotten the idea with just one sock. And then lastly, I have a battery because batteries are used to power pretty much everything that is electronic that we own. So anyways, that is what I had in my little box. It is completely empty and on my floor now, but this is the box. It's really small and cute and yeah. So that is everything that I put in there. And then lastly, I told you guys I was going to show you guys my communication boards, which I really like a lot. So, okay, let me first give you kind of what I wanted to do with these because I didn't even get to it, but I just wanted to record this video. 
before this weekend. But anyways, I was going to punch a hole right here. And then I was going to put one of those, like, you know, binder rings um, on them so that you could flip. And then it would all be together on one thing. And I forgot to get the little ring when I was out. So, which is super annoying. And also, I don't even own like a good hole puncher. So, I'm just going to show you guys, but just pretend that that's what I did, okay? So, the first board that I have is this little, um, it's a needs board. So, it says I, and then this has in need of the bathroom, thirsty, hungry, in pain, sick, tired, uncomfortable, too hot, or too cold. So I thought that that was a good basic little needs communication board. Then I have another one that I printed, which probably wasn't necessary, but I thought that it was because I think that this is important, which is emotions. So this is an emotion communication board, which is how you, how are you feeling? And it has happy, sad, angry, tired, excited, frustrated, proud, scared, hot, cold, silly, or fine. So I thought that this was cool because I just, I think that emotions are a super important thing and that we should be monitoring our patients' emotions as well, or not patients, but clients' emotions. So um, I, I just thought that that was pretty cool to print out as well. And then I have the letter communication board as well and this has the yes or no on it and it also has a space which i thought was cool um it's not just letters and then i was looking at another one and i was considering printing it out and it was um it was like a keyboard instead of just a b c d e f g so on it was a keyboard so it was qwerty uiop um a s d f g h whatever you know you know how the keyboard is um and i thought that, that might be cool especially because adults like were pretty much accustomed to the keyboard, but I just decided not to print it because I didn't want to print that. I just wanted the basic alphabet after I thought about it. So that is what I printed for my commun communication boards and I got them all laminated because I figured I could probably use these one day. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys kind of what I was thinking and um, show you guys what I had in my little my little box here. So anyways, I hope that you guys are having a great night, great day, great weekend, whenever you guys are watching this. And I just hope that clinicals are going so, so well. And I miss you all. So yeah, anyways, bye. <laughs>